Welcome to Fringe Watch. I've been told that uh, my, my folder is too sexual, so I have to put it down. Uh, speaking of sexual, uh, my name is Jason. I'm not doing a show, you can't see me. Uh, this is Alice Fraser. She is doing a show. It is quickly. It's called Empire. It's at 8.30 at the Producers Hotel. It's very good. Sometimes. I've never I've never let someone plug their show, like a co-host. You're, you're very lucky. I am very lucky. Yeah. Who else is lucky? Uh, Demi Lardner yeah. is lucky. Yeah. Look at that woman. Look Demi Lardner is the one of the whole interview. Yes. Yeah. 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 Okay. Great. How are you? <laughs> what are you, what are you wearing? I'm wearing slides and socks. Yeah. First of all, thanks for putting shoes on for us. This is what I do instead of oh. have a breakdown. Now something's a little too sexual. Is I buy five pins. Hey Lauren, slides. I found a good use for the folder. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks so much for coming. I haven't seen you in like like a year, it's maybe. It's been such a time. It's been a measurable unit. Mm. Um, what, you are you're doing everything now. I'm doing some stuff. You're running around. I see your social media to win awards and yep. and doing things. Yep. Do comedy much? <laughs> okay. Any questions? <laughs> Sit. Oh, she went away. Oh yeah. <laughs> we, will, we will. If you stay and answer mm. questions, you can have treats. Yeah. Do you like Eminem's more or the Maltesers? Yes. Okay then, you can get an equal access. No, uh, oh yeah, okay, fine. No, no, that's fine. Oh no! You're allowed. No, it's a burden. Yep. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, because of what you wish. <laughs> Don't you think? Yeah. How's the show going? It's going great. It's so stupid. Yeah. It's the best. That's unimaginable. There's a song in it called Box Turtle. And what's about, it about? It's about a turtle that yes. has sexual intercourse with box, and he makes an abomination. And the abomination, oh, okay. yeah, the abomination's name is Box Turtle. And the original turtle's name is Andrew. Uh, no Come further questions, show. right? Calm. See, I was thinking this the other day. The kind of comedy that I do is not the kind of comedy <laughs> that I like. Yeah. The kind of comedy that I like is the kind of comedy that you do. Yeah. But I just don't have the capacity to be that fun. Like, I hate fun. <laughs> like, I can't do... She does hate fun. I hate fun. All, like, I, all I do, all I want to do is do the worst, dumbest ideas beautifully. Yeah. I mm. love that so much. I love your work. Oh, shut up, ah, Josh. Shut up. Oh, bloody get out of it. You get out of it. Made me cry. <laughs> they put paint on my nog. Do you see it? Yeah. I don't have Look this. Look at my also, eyebrows. Also, this is not what my eyebrows yeah. look What's like. What's happening? <laughs> Different head. <laughs> You're beautiful. Shut up, don't. For someone your size, are you with huge hands? Do this again. I've what? never noticed. Are they big hands? Yeah, are they big like, hands? It's like, are they just close to you? Yeah. <laughs> Maybe you're like a puppy. Maybe you're going to grow into them. Oh. I hope so. <laughs> no, I'm done. I was this in, in grade five. Were you ever like at one of the taller people in the class? Yeah. Because I never got that. I was I, always... I was born this size. Wow. <laughs> but mom. now I'm too small. Yeah, right. Mm. I was always, in every single uh, school photo, I'm the, the front left person. Yeah. Even when, in, when I was in year 12, we had a photo with everyone in our house from year 8 to year 12, and I was the second one in, in the front row. That's where they yeah. put this, the third smallest person. No. I get, I have, um, I'm in the front of, I'm the shortest person in my uh, school photo at our formal, and uh, it's great because all the dudes are standing at the back wearing their suits, and then all the girls looking real uh, lovely in their dresses, and then me right at the front with a pipe in my mouth, <laughs> A full tuxedo yes, and of a cane. Course. Great. <laughs> Taking the shine off all the ladies. <laughs> One Melbourne Comedy Festival, we were accosted by a drunk man who was saying that you shouldn't be dancing at the Fringe Club at three o'clock in the morning and that we were irresponsible parents for letting <laughs> you in. You know, we nearly got into a fist fight yep. with some drunk dude. Yeah. Um, Z you know Zach and Vigo who are doing shows and stuff mm -hmm. on the Fringe? They, uh, so uh, Zach's brother is here and. Do you want to find? Yeah, go Thanks. ahead. Go ahead, man. <laughs> Take my knee chocolate. Nom, 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 nom. Uh, uh, Zach's brother was standing next to the board where one of my reviews were, and this uh, dude came up to him and he was like, Is that you? You're doing a show? Is that you? She started yelling at him for looking bad in short shorts. Yeah, no one looks bad in short shorts. No. That's especially not invented. this guy. <sighs> <laughs> you're, you're looking at it like it's a piano and you're about to play the chocolate. Yeah, would you like to, would you like to hear a ditty? Oh, yes. Alright, go ahead. This is gonna make me fat the end. <laughs> uh. 
Right. What, what did we interrupt you doing before you were doing the show? Were you slipping? It sounded like you were a little bit. I was. I got slipping. an all caps message from you saying, "I don't know anything about this thing." I don't know what happens. How do I live? Are That's... you Are you pretty excited now that you're here, though? It's, yeah. It's all been totally worth it. Everything's great. I love this. Yeah. It's good to see you, babe. I know. I don't mm. get to see you anymore. Yeah. So you used to do comedy. You started here. Yeah. And then, I used to do comedy. Where, it's where, true. Yeah. And then <laughs> now that you're doing your seriousness. Yeah. Um, are you Sydney or Melbourne now? You're Melbourne. Melbourne. But you Melbourne. do a lot of stuff in Sydney. Yeah. I always see you doing like trial shows and stuff in Sydney. Yeah, I live. <laughs> Good chat. Oh boy. Um, yeah, I, I like going all over the place. Sydney's mm. the best, but I don't want to live there. They got that Sydney Opera Bridge. <laughs> it's, in, it's intimidating. <laughs> don't want to be near that. Mm. It's, it's a super intimidating, it looks half mm. like a coat hanger. You're not sure if it's offering the sky an abortion. Like, yeah, what jacket Ooh. will fit on it? Yeah, exactly. A big one. I'm scared of the man who wears it. Does it. Sometimes fat people can be women. That's sexist. What? Yeah, but there women can't wear jackets, though, so... But they do. they just got to put the buttons on the other side. No. That's how jackets work. No. Have you ever seen a woman in a jacket? No. No, I never have, so... I've never seen a woman. I'm woman blind. I, I don't see sex. I live in a world full of men. No, wait, I'm Honestly, I'm married. I don't, I don't. <laughs> yeah. Uh, my wife. Oh, terrible. <laughs> She's not that bad. Terrible. Um, hey, we have to play a game with you. Let's do it. It's the same game. Were you watching before? No. Nope. Trump's bunker. Okay. These are the people. Th there's 10 seats on a bus to okay. go into a bunker. You have to justify why you should be one of the 10. Mm. If you think you should be, you mm. may not. No, and what skills, what skills you bring. Mm. And then who, now that there's 10 people on the bus already, you have to choose who goes. Oh, okay. Um, I should so, go in there because I can uh, pick my nose with my tongue, and I think... Uh, I, I need to see that. That is disgraceful. Uh, that's upsetting. What have you done with your life? But this. That. <laughs> this only. Forever. You know how I was hungry before? Not. Yeah. It's not a thing anymore. <laughs> that's gross. Can I pick your nose with my tongue? Please. No. Well. I forbid it. Yes, and. <laughs> um, the yes, fun and pirate no. doesn't like it. <laughs> All right, so pick your nose with your tongue. Yep. Do you think that that goes in front of it? Pat McCaffrey can only play three chords on a guitar. He's uh, not great. So he can't play any song, really. What, the three like Louie Louie? Nah. No. Nah. Summer Loving, he's only three chords in, in I reckon he's off, I reckon. Yeah, get okay, me. all right, sorry Pat. You are done. It's kind of You're dead to us. And so you reckon that picking your nose with your tongue is better than, is more, sorry, more vital to the world than, all right, yeah. you're in. Okay. Right? Dare me. And she's sort of the opposite, opposite of White Nixon Lloyd, who would eat all the food. Oh, that's true. Mm. Mm. You don't very, eat much. Very efficient. No, I eat my own face food. Yeah, she's self what does that mean? sustaining. She's a closed ecosystem. Oh, face food. Boogers. <laughs> yeah. Just say boogers. I understand boogers. I don't get face food. What was your thing again? Can pick, pick nose with pick tongue. Pick nose with tongue. Okay. I feel like we've taken a step back. And also, I think that's Pick. a good defensive mechanism for like scavenging hordes. We can just put you out the front and disgust them out of attacking yeah. us. Oh, we oh, don't yeah. want whatever that I... mutation is. Yeah, we can steal their stuff, but it's probably got boogers all over it. <laughs> Ugh, boogers. All right, you're in. Thank uh, you. When is your show and what is it? What, not... Is it more of this? It's called Look What You Made Me Do. Is that a t tapir on your... Yeah, that's a tapir. That is great. That's a fish. I got him yesterday. Oh, wow. Can I, can I high five you on the wrist? Very little yes. inflammation for a no, that's, no, that's awful, right. Um, that would be a hate crime or mm, something. Yeah. Against your people. I don't know what that means. <laughs> okay, so your show, I, I'm going to tell you, it is Look What You Made Me Do. Yes. It's, an, it's from now until the 19th of March. It's probably yes. been going beforehand. It's been going lots beforehand. It's real good and dumb. In the Guard of Unearthly Delights. Yes, I play a 46-year-old man named Gavin. Oh, I thought that that was just, you were just saying that because it was, you were being that's random in the thing. No, it's... that's my show. I'm what? a 46 year old stepdad locked in a basement on the phone to a life insurance agent. What, is, what does that look like? This. <laughs> Gross. <laughs> All right. Uh, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you for having me. Are we going to, we're we going to fight? We're going to kiss? <laughs> no, I don't want to kiss. Watch out. What are the... you doing? What are you? I'm trying to leave. Wait, but you still got your microphone on. You no, let even... me leave. Yeah, bring it back with candies. Whenever you guys want to cut to a commercial, we'll, we'll try and sort this out. But um... I'm an ardent pony. Ardent? Looking for treats. You're a treat. 